Um, good day, everyone. I'm Bianca Odiadawa, and this is my thesis partner, Liver San Pedro, and our thesis advisor, Dr. Bonifacio Doma. And today we are going to present our study named the prediction of thermal conductivity of various nanofluids using artificial neural network. Here are, the, here are the parts that we are going to discuss in this presentation. Without further ado, I'm going to talk about, the, about nanofluids first. So nanofluids is a new class of heat transfer fluids that are used as heat carriers in engineering application, and it is simply a base fluid with nanoparticles suspended. Compared to the conventional heat transfer fluids, uh, nanofluids have enhanced thermophysical properties such as thermal conductivity, which is very crucial in heat transfer applications. With all the enhanced properties possessed by the nanofluids, nanofluids as a heat transfer fluid can potentially boost the efficiency of the heat transfer process and the overall efficiency of the system. Since heat transfer fluids play important role in various sectors such as cooling, heating system in a processing plant, uh, or heat exchanging system in power generation. In order to determine the thermal conductivity of the nanofluids, it undergoes with different measuring techniques such as transient hot wire, thermal constant analyzer, steady state parallel method, and temperature oscillation method. And these are some of the techniques that are frequently used before. However, these processes take more time and it is very costly. So some researchers come up with theories and models that will predict the thermal conductivity of the nanofluids. Maxwell model, Hamilton Crosser, NAN, Chi models are some of the models that are found successful in predicting the thermal conductivity of the nanofluids. But the downside of these classical models uh, show limitations because they fail to consider some of the parameters that can potentially influence the thermal conductivity. So many researchers, including us, have tried to use computer methods for predicting the thermal conductivity of the nanofluids. So in this study, we use artificial neural network, or ANN. Artificial neural network is an intelligent system that works like a digitalized human brain that is designed to process large amount of data. Uh, this is an excellent method to solve complex problems that cannot be calculated by conventional approaches. So due to this advantage to solve complex problems, uh, it makes artificial neural network a good method to analyze the thermal conductivity of the nanofluids. So as, and as per Michiri, He, and others, they claim that uh, artificial neural network has a potential to predict the thermal conductivity since their theoretical and experimental values have good agreement with each other. So as new nanofluids emerge, Further experimental measurement is needed as well as acceptable model to estimate the thermal conductivity of the nanofluids. So the importance of this study is to find out and demonstrate a, a more comprehensive approach using artificial neural networks to predict the thermal conductivity with a wide range of data and under various operating conditions. Also, this dissertation could help minimizing the time and cost in experimentation. This study also can be a good contribution to, to this field that can further expand the growing study. Next, I'm going to discuss the methodology. All the gathered experimental data were trained and tests using MATLAB R2020B. We use this software to develop regression models such as artificial neural networks. We also utilize this for future reduction and also for finding linear relationship of the input parameters using person analysis. And the following parameters are the scope of our paper. The molecular weight of the nanoparticle, the molecular weight of the solvent, and the particle size of the partic particle size of the nanoparticle and the temperature of the nanofluid and volume concentration are all 
utilized as predictors, while the thermal conductivity of the nanofluid is considered as the target value. Uh, first, we construct um, a three-layer structure, and, the, and then we also construct a four-layer structure, which consists of two hidden layers. This was performed to see if there will be an improvement on the predicted output and to serve as a comparison for the first hidden layer. We tried other regression models that can be found in MATLAB, but most of the data fail in comparison to, the, to ANN, so we did not mention it on the paper. But presented in the window are the training condi conditions. Uh, the number of neurons that we use are 10, 25, 50, and 75, and 100. While for the training algorithm, we use Bayesian regularization and the Levenberg backward. Uh, for the performance criteria, uh, we use this to assess the performance of the developed models. So we use the R, R squared, MSE, and the MNE. Next part is the feature reduction. Um, after developing multiple ANN models, uh, we work on the feature reduction. Uh, in this, we assess the best model performance model performance when a certain variable is reduced in the modeling process. The training condition that we used here was using the best training algorithm and the amount of neurons and the, the number of hidden layers from the A and N. We used the same performance criteria to assess the, the effectiveness and also to see the effect on the predicted output or uh, output thermal conductivity once we deduct an input parameter. Um, we also, here, we also show the, in the table, the input, variab input variable we use for each, each training in future reduction. And after simulating, we simply compare each model to see which of it gives the best fit on predicting thermal conductivity of the nanofluid. Next part is the result and discussion. Here are some examples of our data parameters that we have collected. We come up with a total of 642 experimental data and a total of 30 nanofluids. The nanoparticles that we have considered are all single material nanofluids, which are known as the, which are known as the conventional form of nanofluid. Um, I also want to mention that the nanoparticle that we considered on these studies are mixed collection of single elements, metal oxides, and so on. Um, same with the base fluid, we did, the, we did not just settle for just one type of base fluid in order for us to give a more generalized ANN model. Next, is, next part is a figure that shows the correlation matrix of input parameters. This percent correlation coefficient is used to be to examine the strength and the direction of the linear relationship between two variables. Uh, correlation coefficient ranges between negative one and two positive one. And the larger the absolute coefficient volume means a stronger relationship between the two. And based on our presented figure, it shows that none of our input parameters correlates that very much. And the highest correlation that we could only get was only 0 0.44, which is a medium correlation between molecular weight of the nanoparticle and the molecular weight of the solvent. Next part is all the performance of ENN models for the two training algorithms. On the left side, it shows that the model performance on a single hidden layer, while on the right side are for the ENN models with two hidden layers. All simulations, all simulations are occurred on a trial and error method uh, to select the best values for the number of neurons, uh, hidden layer, and the best training algorithm. And based on its higher value of R and R squared and lower MSC and MAE value, it clearly, it clearly shows that the Bayesian regularization with one and two hidden layers give a better fit of results comparing on using Levenberg Marquardt. It should also be mentioned that um, increasing the number of hidden layers resulted in a better performance. However, this approach takes more computational time. And overall, all the developed ANN models uh, presented uh, shows that shows potential that it can be used to predict the nanofluid nano thermal conductivity to a significant degree of accuracy. And the final model that we came up was the one with the 75 neurons on a two hidden layer, on a two hidden layers on a Bayesian regularization algorithm. It shows the highest accu accuracy uh, for prediction of thermal conductivity. And 
Next is the a figure that shows a scatter plot of the predicted results of the best ALN model versus the experimental results of the thermal conductivity. And it shows or it demonstrates that the output are very close to the target values. And for the feature reduction, since the best model on the study on the study from the artificial neural network was the 57510 model topology. This was used for the feature reduction. And as I mentioned as I mentioned before, the importance, the importance of the feature reduction was to assess the relative importance of the parameter and also to see if there will be changes on the effectiveness once the parameter was deducted on the selected best model. And Looking on our results, it presents that the further reduction of the parameters only leads to the decline effectiveness of the model, which can be seen in the which can be seen from the decreasing value of R and R squared and the increasing value of error. And, and lastly, it clearly shows that the temperature, volume concentration, and the particle size have great influence on the nanofluid thermal conductivity. And it still shows that the most efficient efficient model to use was the 57510-1 model topology. To briefly summarize all the things discussed in results and discussion, we consider that artificial neural network can clearly predict the thermal conductivity of the nanofluids using 642 datasets and five input parameters. Also, um, artificial neural network has the ability to see the relationship between all the variables in the network structure. After running all the models in MATLAB, we observed that, the incre that increasing the number of hidden layers into two hidden layers uh, led to a better performance. However, this took a little time to gather the results. So the data sets presented good, uh, good results using artificial neural network model with levenberg marquardt and Bayesian regularization algorithm. Comparing these two algorithms, Bayesian regularization algorithm provided a better performance in predicting the thermal conductivity that gave us correlation coefficient of 0.99 and coefficient of determination of 0.97. This model showed a good relationship between the predicted and the experimental values which indicating the effectiveness of the artificial neural network for modeling and predicting the thermal conductivity. The Bayesian regularization algorithm has the model topology of 575.10.1. As we compared the performance criteria in which model will provide higher effectiveness. Lastly, Feature reduction was conducted to see the effectiveness of the parameters in the model by reducing it one by one. Uh, re reducing the parameters in the network structure, it affected the accuracy of the model that gave us undesirable results. So the model suggests using five input parameters, including the molecular weight of the nanoparticles and the base fluid, particle size, temperature, and volume concentration of the nanofluid. This research could be a good contribution in this field and could be useful for further comparison and model validation. So for the recommendation for the further studies, we suggest the use of hybrid nanofluids and other new discovered nanofluids for predicting the thermal conductivity. Secondly, uh, may, we may use uh, other influential parameters such as nanoparticle shape, pH, clustering, and additives as input parameters to seek its effects into in nanofluids thermal conductivity. And lastly, we also suggest to use other machine learning techniques or AI techniques to investigate its applicability in predicting the thermal conductivity. And that could uh, that bring us to the end. Thank you. Thank you.